Being a mom is magical. I feel like I have superpowers. It's a lot of work, and it definitely means not getting enough sleep, but it's worth it. So much of being a mom is that you can make it whatever it is you want. It's just made me like a better version of myself. It's a very powerful thing. It is the most pure joy. Being a mom is what I've meant to be. My wife and I got pregnant about three and a half weeks difference, and the babies ended up being born three days apart. You forget so fast. I think it was bad, but honestly, if someone asked me, I'd say it was fine. <laughs> it was the best pregnancy ever. <laughs> I would do it again. <laughs> we became eligible for IVF, and then on my transfer day, I was all prepped and ready to go in the, in the operating room, and they said, you know, bad news. All of them died except for one. You know, a couple weeks later, I got a phone call that it had worked. The day before we were going to do in vitro, they told me I didn't have enough eggs. And so they said, you know, we'll just inseminate you. We'll see what happens. And, and it worked. Once I started pushing and he, he was crowning, she kept having me reach down and feel his head. And then his shoulders came out, and she was like, keep your hands down here, keep pushing. And I pulled him out. and. She was like, pull him up to your chest, he's here. I'm getting like goosebumps talking about it. It was really cool. So I basically like delivered my own baby with her help. You know, in those first moments, they do the, the crawl and they, they find your breasts and they just start feeding. And it's just the most amazing thing. I was so excited to order breakfast. I got this big breakfast. And then I was just about to dig in and the nurse comes in and she's like, someone's hungry. And I'm like, it's me. <laughs> It was like that first moment where I'm like, oh my god, I'm a mom. It was pretty all-consuming. Um, it was, they, they weren't on a schedule, and Eddie was small, so he needed to be fed every hour and a half, and then Reed was every two hours, so I was constantly feeding. I think that sort of the idea conveyed for breastfeeding is that it's easy, it just happens right away. In the hospital, it just was, it wasn't happening. My breast had gotten really sore and, and raw that kind of hurt me knowing that, you know, one, I'm in pain, but then, you know, my baby is being affected by my royal breast. It was really hard in the beginning. I don't think I slept the first three days of her life. You know, and it hurts, and, and you don't know if you're doing it right. About three or four days in, my nipples were very painful. And I guess somehow my mother-in-law found out about this. She told my husband to go out and buy the lanolin cream, and it was amazing. When they're so just red and in shock, just slathering that on every every time when you're done. It was a lifesaver. I needed to use nipple shields at first. After the pain goes away, then it's just been a wonderful experience. I was determined about it. It was something that I had to do. I made a goal of trying once a day to breastfeed directly, and then it clicked. And then I remember all of a sudden, one, one day, he just sort of relaxed. And I was like, oh, finally, you know? And then now he's very easy to breastfeed. Every time we're nursing at night or during the day, it's like, she needs me. And that's just this amazing feeling. I never thought I would even know how that felt. While she's eating, and she'll like take her hands and like pull at my shirt. And like, I think that's really adorable. Sometimes when he's awake, he will just kind of latch on and just like, you know, and just look up at me while he's nursing and it's just the sweetest thing. She loves the boobs. I mean, she is a boob addict. Can't imagine a day without those sweet little faces. We just have a ball. We take out all the toys, make a mess. We don't clean it up right away. When I look in Thomas's eyes, I see my dad. And just, yeah. I see months and years of <laughs> struggle. I see like love like I never thought I could love. Um, I see pure joy. She is absolutely pure joy.